So the first topic is free body diagrams, which is abbreviated to FBD. These are diagrams which show all the forces and moments acting on a body. Okay, so an example might be, um, say you have this wall here, and you've got this little bar that's sitting against the wall, and you wanted to draw the free body diagram of it, you'd separate out just the component of interest, which is probably just the bar, and draw all the forces that act on it. Now, there's a little bit of a trick. Um, when you have these, like, I'm going to call them smooth surfaces, let's assume that they're smooth, that means that there's no friction acting. So the only forces are going to be um, normal forces to the surfaces that your body is resting on. So if it's resting on a vertical um, wall here, the, the um, reaction force or the normal force is going to be horizontal. And I'm going to call it N1. Similarly, if this is a horizontal um, ground, the reaction force is going to be perpendicular to that. So it's going to be vertical and straight back up. Okay, so that would be an example of a free body diagram of a bar um, leaning against the wall. And the only other thing that you might want to include on it is the weight of the bar itself. So you'd probably put that through the center of gravity, um, assuming that it was a uniform bar that should be at the center of the bar. The only other trick with these normal type forces is sometimes you might have the situation where you have a bar at, um, leaning on a corner. Let's make that a little bit more vertical. So let's say you have your bar looking like this, and maybe you have some other forces acting on it externally. Let's call it P1 and P2. All right, if you were to draw the free body diagram of this situation, again, you need to take out your bar. You can transfer over your external forces. And again, you're going to have a reaction. Um, caused by the fact it's contacting a surface but this time because it's contacting a corner the force or the normal force is going to be applied perpendicular to the bar itself um, not perpendicular to the contacting surface since it's a right angle so it should be 90 degrees to the bar so I'll call it N that here needs to be a right angle okay so that's pretty much the only tricks for um, free body diagrams of very simple shapes like things like bars. 